On a conventional hinge door you see on the left, the entire weight of the door is going to be hung off that frame via butt hinges, continuous hinge, uh, offset pivots. You're, you're basically taking that entire weight, hanging it off the frame. And this door travels in that large circular arc. The trouble is, because you're hanging the door weight off the frame, over time, effects are going to happen on those screws and those screw holes. They're eventually going to elongate, the screw is going to start to pull out, the door is going to fail, it's going to pull away from the frame, and it's going to sag and drag. It's, it's more or less inevitable. And that's what causes that, that failure of a traditional door system. Also, you're pulling all that weight as well. Now, conventionally in a balanced door system, because it travels in this elliptical arc, the weight is transferred from the door to the bottom arm, basically, from the bottom arm back down to the floor box, back down to the floor. This door is not hung off the frame. As you can see, there's no connection to the door to the frame. And what that does is that distributes the weight of the door better, so it opens easier. You get a mechanical advantage when you open the door, both an opening and a mechanical advantage in actually closing the door as well. It's because that pivot point is moved further over. And that's how that door balances itself better. And because it's not connected to the frame, it makes for a longer, uh, more long-lasting door system. We don't have those problems that you do have associated with a conventional door. The effects of the wind. We're going to have a little video here with some arrows showing a conventional door on the left and a balanced door on the right. Again, a conventional door, when, it's, when the, the wind is coming from the exterior, that whole surface area of the door is subjected to the adverse effects of the wind, both in opening and if you had a large uh, atrium space, a large building, you also have pressures trying to stack action, trying to push the door open. So both those external pressures and internal stack pressures are going to be fully acting upon the whole surface of a conventional swing door, both in opening and closing. That's why it takes a lot more force to get that door to open and close. You might have to put more spring tension on this kind of door to get it to close because you're overcoming the wind pressures. More spring tension translates into more pull or push force. Con conversely, in a balanced door, because the way it opens, you'll see that it relieves that pressure, that wind pressure, not only on the strike side as, as a traditional door, but also on the hinge side as well. It lets the air rush by on both sides, equalizing the pressures. And that happens both in the opening force, opening cycle, and also in the closing cycle. And it's because that door is balanced, part of the wind, in this case, wants to help you open the door. Part is against you, but the same thing happens in closing. Part of that wants to keep the door closed, and keeps that. that's why a balanced door doesn't flutter as much as a conventional door, or isn't blown open like a conventional door, because you're balancing that, the pressures on both sides. The next is leaf projection to the exterior when the door is opened. Again, there are certain areas of the country, uh, certain cities that have codes that uh, mandate how much a door can project beyond the building limit line onto the sidewalk. New York City is one of those. Uh, they have very strict rules. What they're trying to do is, because they know there's such a very large volume of pedestrian traffic on the sidewalk, they don't want to impede or restrict that pedestrian traffic. So they do not want that door projecting out on the sidewalk any more than 18 inches beyond the building limit line. And what you're seeing is two doors, equal size, balanced door on the right, conventional door on the left, and you can see how much difference there is as far as projection onto the sidewalk because of that circular arc of this conventional door and the elliptical arc of the balanced door. Again, roughly two-thirds of this door projects to the exterior and one-third to the interior, as opposed to three-thirds projecting to the exterior. 